Welcome back to What RT Noobs with General Disturbance. This is a Matilda, the Tier 4 British medium tank. It's located on the south spawn of Abbey and it's under the command of Fixing Stupid of Reborn. Yes, that's my American account, my NA account, and I'm in the British medium tank with a two pounder gun. Game started. Well, as you can see, I'm in Reborn. Yes, same clan as Zoe. In fact, Zoe's the commanding officer. I'm just a private in this clan. But a lot of the members of this clan are also members of What Arty Noobs, and it's a very arty friendly clan. Well, you can see it's a bit of a traffic jam up here, and I think it's three of these tanks, the T116s, are trolls, or at least probably schoolboys who are having a bit of fun together. They were trolling the FCM 36 pack 40. Now, I'm actually on a mission at this moment. I need to kill three enemy tanks. Yep, I need to complete my daily missions. And in order to do that, I need three kills. Oh, I notice a Panzer 1C has gone into the Abbey ground, so I fire a quick round at him. Just so I'm going past, but didn't get any close to him at all. But I'm pretty much hoping that the enemy will send a large force down the west side of the map and the T116s will tell me if they're there and I need at least three kills to complete my mission remember I've got the two pounder gun which is a 40 millimeter gun but it's got a little John adapter at the end of the barrel which you can see which squeezes the round down to 30 millimeters but that increases the speed of the round from about 800 meters per second to over 1200 meters per second which means that it will go through most heavy armor that was designed at the time that this tank was in operation. They made 2987 of this tank in both the United Kingdom and also in Australia and a lot of these tanks are still in operation. Well we've got a number of enemies ahead and at least three tanks that I can kill and the only tank I really fear in this battle is the Sentinel. Yep, because he's got a gun that can penetrate me. Okay, well, I've got my first round into him. And he's starting to fire at me and he's getting pens. Now I'm firing the rounds right into the side, but I now aim for the tracks. So I'm trying to immobilize this guy. And he's getting pens on me. He took out my, drive, my gunner, but I put the gunner back in. And I got my first kill. I lost 319 hit points to the Sentinel. But he was the one I really did fear the most. That's an Australian tank. And he was quite competent as well. I'm now taking fire from a Cheeky. But I'm going to move behind the Sentinel for cover. And start taking these guys out one by one. They literally cannot get at me because the Sentinel is getting in the way. Let's go. I've got two now. T29 next. Oh my god. One tank has gone on its side. It's one of the T116s. Not the trolls. It's one of the enemy ones. He's flipped himself over. And none of his teammates are trying to help. He's on fire. And there he goes. I've got my three. Now we've got an SAU-40. French tank destroyer. Now he's got the stop gun, that's the short fat one. Oh, M8A1. Now with a 57mm gun, he can pen me. There's the T116s again. I look back to find out where the SAU is. And here comes an M8A1, he's charging towards me. Not going to help him. And he's gone. Okay, the SCU-40 is just behind there. There you go. Weak spots the tumour. It's not a tumour. No, it is a tumour. And it's actually quite deadly. It's a very bad weak spot. I've got five kills. Oh, and a T-29 pops up along with a T-116. I'm just going to tear this guy to shreds. Yeah, this really does feel very, very dirty. Oh, obscenely dirty T116 I've got my top gun I fixed my tracks yes you're not going anywhere except the garage say goodnight Gracie yes and that felt so dirty 
So, what did I do in that battle? Well, let's have a look at the end of battle results. Oh my god, I felt so dirty after doing that battle. It was a first ace tanker on this account in the Matilda. Yes, it's got the first scrolls underneath. Yes, you only get that the first time. And yes, I did get it. So, I got a fire for effect for doing more damage and hit points to my own vehicle. I set fire to one of the enemy tanks, the T116, and watched him burn to death. I also got a master gunner for getting five armor penetrating shots in a row. A duelist for taking down two tanks who damaged me and a bruiser medal for getting at least five critical hits. I got 13 in that one. I also managed to get a shell proof for blocking more damage than the hit points of my own vehicle. I got a spark medal because I bounced around or ricocheted around uh, with a non-penetrating shot. In fact, actually, it was from the T29. He actually fired around into my tracks and that earned me the Spartan as well as staying alive, of course, for the battle. I also got a high caliber for dealing the most damage in the game, a top gun for getting at least six kills. I ended up with seven, and also a steel wall for blocking the most damage in the game. And my win eight from that battle was 21,626, which is kind of on the high level. But then, you know, there was a reduced number of tanks on both teams. There was only 12 tanks each side, because uh, it was uh, very early in the morning in the NA server. And so, as such, I couldn't maximise this because there were still three tanks missing that I could have gone for if they'd actually been in the game, but they weren't. I wouldn't have earned a Radley's or a Pools medal simply because you can't get that at Tier 4, but it could have increased my win eight even more if I'd taken out those tanks as well. Well, if we look at the uh, team scores, we can see, yes, I did damage of 3,105 hit points, and that's nearly three, not, well, nearly three. It's slightly less than three times the next highest damage, which was the M18-1 who charged me. He did 1,161 hit points. The next highest scorer being the Lux, who was actually the better player on my team. He actually had a higher rating than I did. He had 880 hit points of damage. When it came to kills, I get the highest number with seven. The M8A1 had three and the SE Impact 40 had two. And when it came to base XP, I got 1,279, which is enough for the ace tanker. And the next highest scorer had less than half that. That was the looks with 524. And the FCM 36 pack 40 had 497. I fired 63 rounds in that game. I got 60 direct hits and 59 penetrations. Damage of 3,105 hit points, all of which was at close range. 29 hits received from the enemy, 10 of them were penetrations, 19 non-penetrations, and 1,302 hit points of damage blocked by armour. I damaged 8 of the enemy, killed 7, and did 111 hit points of damage assistance. On a premium count, I earned 48,974 credits. And after repair and ammunition respite, and I did fire some premium ammo during that game. In fact, a lot of the rounds I fired at the Sentinel were all APCR specifically because that tank would be tough to take down unless I actually did use the premium to make sure each shot penned because he's got a wicked gun that could have taken me out the game. So I only earned 26,109 credits, which is not as much as Zoe Balls did in the previous replay, but it's still a reasonably good total. I picked up 25 bonds because I completed the mission for the day. Uh, I only needed three kills. I actually ended up with seven and 1,918 XP times two for the first victory, the same again from personal reserves, and I took away 5,755 experience points altogether. So I think you can say that that was a pretty successful game, but it did feel dirty, just like Zoe before me. It was a bit of a culling, because all I was doing was tearing these people to shreds and using my knowledge of where to position myself to avoid them getting any pens on me. They did get some pens. The, the Sentinel put quite a lot of damage into me, over 300 hit points, which was more than half my health. And some of the T29s and T116s, and of course that M8A1, did penetrate rounds into my hull, but... Uh, I'm afraid in the end it did just feel so dirty to take them all out like that and well the game it didn't last very long at all 4 minutes 38 seconds is even quicker than Zoe's game but uh, yeah uh, it really was a bit of a culling you could say and so yeah I think I'm going to now go and take a cold shower. 
I hope you enjoyed that replay and if you did please give this video a like, do subscribe to our channel please and thanks for watching.